Hi guys, Top Ops here, and today is another Reddit recap. So let's get started. So I actually haven't done a Reddit video in about two weeks, so we're going to be picking out the winner for the best meme using those photos that I had sent over, at least those photos from that video. So let's do that first. And it looks like, guys, this was the winner. It says, so you're a Funko fan? Name every Funko Pop. I thought this one was pretty good, and it did so well that it became the most upvoted meme of this month. So, Hamshrek64, I will be DMing you for your Funko Pop very soon. And I will say, guys, we do have a lot of those memes, so we're going to be going through some of those today, but not every single one. When the kid from Toys R Us takes the last chase point, Porg when you steal it. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm gonna be honest. I never actually stole the Chase Porg. I know a lot of people think I did. In the video, what happened was is there was a guy, and it was late, and it was the Force Friday one, so it was midnight opening for Toys R Us. You guys might remember the video. I think it was three years ago now. Uh, but what had happened was the worker was actually putting some on the shelf, and I got a little antsy, and I saw that there was the Chase Porg sitting there, so I quickly scooped it. It looked like somebody else's hand was there. I'm pretty sure it was the worker's and not a kid's. So if there was a kid there or somebody else's hand in the video, it just means I got to before they did, so I don't think I stole it. Okay, now this one's pretty good. It says, there's one imposter among us, and then of course the imposter is Top Plops. And I will say, reading the comments on that video, a lot of you guys really hated on the video, but I enjoyed his video. It's kind of like a little parody on me, and I know of course it was very over the top and satire, but I enjoyed it. I want Among Us Funko Pops so bad. I mean, I totally agree, Chubbs Chubbs. I think those would be amazing. The problem is, is that they don't really have like faces, so how would you make them popified? I'm not too sure. But I mean, Funko's done weirder stuff, so I could totally see them happening. So guys, this here is Tyler's Chase collection. This is a lot of Chase figures. This is almost, I would say, maybe 50, 60 figures. I don't know how many this is, but it looks like you've gotten every single Chase over the last couple of years. And I mean, it's probably not every single one, but it really does look like a lot of them. This one here, guys, is really good. It says, when you come home excited to show off a new pop, but realize you already bought it before. You know what, guys? When you have over 2,000 figures, it does happen every once in a while. It... It of course happened with Mr. Freeze a couple times. I actually have three Mr. Freeze. It was totally by accident, um, but yeah, it does happen every once in a while. Also guys, I don't ever remember making this face anywhere. So if you guys know what video it's from, let me know. Is that a coincidence? Marvel Zombies number 666 and Zombie Daredevil. Hmm. I mean, it's most likely a coincidence, but you never know. Now, this is one of the ones done for the contest, and I really do enjoy this one. It's where the dog and my head had swapped. It's just too funny. I really do like the way he also made it look like the t-shirt is actually wrapped around the skeleton dog's neck. It's just a really well done Photoshop. When you see your favorite Funko Pop in Top Pop's video, hey, that looks like my Boba Fett. This is one that I do a lot, actually, when watching videos in general. Like, if I'm watching something and someone's wearing the same t-shirt I am, or just something like that, it's always fun to kind of point it out, because it's like, hey, I have the same thing you do. We need more office Funko Pops. Dwight, Jim, Creed, out the window. To be honest, I think Funko should make one of every single one of like the main characters and then start to do more of the other ones because we've gotten so many Dwights and Jims. The good news is that they are making the Dundee, so I thought that was pretty cool. That's very different. I like that they're doing something like that, but then they came up with another Andy. Don't get me wrong, I love the figure, but I do want to see a Creed as well. Also, Funko still hasn't made a Ryan or a Phyllis, and I would love to see both of those as well. Here's another custom design concept I made. Now, this one is done by J Biv Art, and I just love his stuff. He's done a lot of really great figures, and this one right here, really does look amazing. I thought this one was a real figure when he had put it up on his Instagram, but it isn't. And I wish this one was real because I would love to purchase one of these. If you guys want to go check him out, you guys totally can on Instagram. I'm a huge fan of the custom stuff that he makes. I feel like it's so good that Funko could hire him. When you can't think of a meme using the templates Tristan provides, so you make your own template using a frame from a video uploaded five months ago. Modern problems require modern solutions. I'm trying to think, who am I supposed to be here? Is this like a, like a president or something like that? Either way, it's well done. Now, this one here says Tristan remembers when he hit a lady trying to go Funko Pop hunting. What could this be? <laughs> to be fair, I've never hit a lady trying to go Funko Pop hunting. I mean, there was that one time. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Who was this? Josh? D oh, no, you used, ah, oh, you used Tyler. You, no, you can't use 21 Pilots usernames. I want to call you up by name here. I did not do this. This is, okay. I gotta find the video. Some, you cut this short. I don't remember what I said. I think I was talking about something completely different. It just fit together in the same sentence. I haven't hit a lady while Funko Pop hunting. 
Don't worry, I, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't. Okay guys, so this is pretty cool. I don't normally talk about this because I don't go to FYE that often. Of course, because the borders are closed, I can't travel over there. But they have a section there called Top Pops and it's like their best figures or their newest figures that they just got in. So I thought it was pretty funny that it is kind of named after me. It has nothing to do with me at all, but it just, it happens to have the same name. But if some store ever wanted to do a Top Pops Top Picks, I would love to do that. You know what's funny guys, is I actually haven't made a full collection video yet in 2020. Maybe we'll do in towards the end of 2020, kind of like we did last year where it was like right at the end of 2019, just to kind of like cap off the year and show off every single figure I have. This is where I put my Chase Gym to finish my set, if I had one. Speaking of the Gym Chase, this is actually one that I had to buy. I couldn't just find it in stores because the office figures were so popular when they first came out. It was sold out pretty much everywhere, so I had to spend like $40 to get this one. I think we'll just uh, leave this one here. Quick design concept of a new Doughboy for the Spooks. Now this is really well done. Oh, this one's also done by JBivArt. So if you guys wanna go check him out, like I said, over on Instagram. But this is just such an amazing one. He really does do some cool stuff. Okay, we're gonna end it on this one, guys, but I never hit the lady with my car. I know it's from the Top Plops video, and I don't think there's ever been like an inkling of where I could have hit somebody with a car. I'm not too sure why it happened, but anyways, guys. Also, I just noticed that that face popped up again. I don't remember what that's from, so if you guys know what video it's from, please let me know. Well, anyways, guys, I think we're gonna end it there, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys wanna see more Reddit stuff in the future, let me know in the comment section below. But this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Drippin' like a drip drip school. It's gonna fall with school. Maybe gonna school. She funny with it. Funny with it. Cool. B54 thump. I'm a hump on a bump. Jack and Jill up a hill. Baby tryna get a meal. Mary had a little limb. I really do not fuck with that. She callin' me the muffin man. I surely like the muffin top. Snow. Lama lances.